Yo, what's up, man? What's good, everybody? I haven't been on this channel in a while. I know it's been a while, but today I want to show off what I picked up. It wasn't really today, but I picked this up the other day. I'm about to show it off in today's video. And guys, I got some rare games in this pickup. Probably the most rarest pickup I've ever done since I've been collecting and opened my store. So let's just jump right into the video and I'm gonna show you guys what I've got. Let's go. So here's both boxes opened up and you guys can already see the rare stuff already, especially the one <laughs> you guys can see it already. But this is the PlayStation 2, PS1 and PS3 games. And on this box is Xbox 360, Xbox original stuff and a few Nintendo games. But man, you guys can already see the titles on these ones. It's already crazy. Let's just look at all the games. So how I'm gonna do this video is that I'm just gonna take each game out of the box and show the front and the back and maybe the inside of it to make it maybe go a little fast. I'll probably show front and back. I'll say what the game is. You guys, I'll each one I'll take out and you guys will see from there. All right, so the first game I'm taking out is this gem. I can't believe this was in there. We got Hunting Ground. This game is rare. It goes for close to $400 online and stuff like that. Um, I do resell, but the thing is, I also collect, so I'm probably gonna end up keeping this game. Very hard one to find. Next game we got is Shadow Hearts Covenant. And yo, ah, these were the first two games that I saw when I opened the box. And I was so hyped to see this game in there, man. Like, this is insane, bro. This is the game opened up. Most of these games are complete in box. So like, I'm not gonna show each game open because it just takes a lot of time. And I just don't wanna make a really long ass video. I'll show this one also. See, it's complete. It's got the manual and everything in it. Next game, we got Shadow Hearts from the New World. This is another one that's really hard to get. Shadow Heart games are hard to get in general. And the fact that these were in there, these were the first two games that I saw. You know I went crazy, man. I went crazy when I got this pickup, man. It was insane. Next game is Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented. These, these games are hard to get. These are all rare, insane games. I just was not expecting to get this pickup today. Next game I pick up is Kion. This game is probably the most rarest game out of all the games that I have in here. I think this is this actually beats um, Hunting Ground, I believe. And this was one of the games that I actually really wanted for a while. Now I just didn't want to pay for what these these games go for. So like now that I have this game, I'm super stoked. I'm definitely keeping this one. Hunting Ground is like my so this and Hunting Ground is the two most most expensive rarest games that I have in this bundle. But I mean the fact that I you know got these and now they're in my hands it's 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 insane i was not expecting this guy to have all this stuff when he walked in the other day as you can see we got silent hill origins this is obviously another rare game to get this is not an easy game to get all the silent hills especially in the older systems from like ps2 ps1 stuff these games are really hard to come by and the fact that this was in there too is crazy next game we got is trappy i believe this is Part of this series, Deception, one, two, three, and then there's the one on, there's three games on the PS1. And I believe this was the one after that for PS2, and then they dropped the one on the PS3. But this was, this is hard to get. All the Deception games are hard to get, and I have most of them now. I have most of the PS2 uh, one ones, and then I have the PS3 game, and now I have the PS2 one. This is a good game to have too. It's another rare game, about 80 bucks, something like that. This is the one thing I'm, I'm upset about, but I can't complain. All these good games I got in here, you know, this doesn't hurt. This this still goes for at least 100 bucks, even as is. So it doesn't have the actual box, but it does have the manual and the game itself. So, I mean, just having the manual and the game itself, I can probably just order the box at some point and just have it complete. The Silent Hill games, I do plan on selling. So if you guys are interested, just comment down below. This one right here is really cool. I already have this game in the same as I, Zach box set. So like I don't need this one, but like the fact that this was in there too is really cool. The manga Carter, if you guys are interested in this too. I'm, I'm, so most of these games I am selling, I'm just keeping a few. But this is still cool. This is a complete box set. You know, you don't see this a lot at all. So the fact that this was in there in, in good condition too is not really bad. It's, it's pretty stoked out, it's pretty cool. So this is a good game, hard game to get to. A lot of people like this series. This is the Dark Cloud 2. I recently got Dark Cloud 1 from my store. So now that I have two, It'll probably make someone buy the first one because the second one's in here also. So, Dark Cloud 2 is actually the harder version to get compared to 1. So, I never got into this series, so I'm not interested in keeping this, but the game does look fun. I just, I don't have time to play a lot of these games, sadly, but this is Dark Cloud 2. These are the rest of the PS2 games I got. I'll quickly run through them so you guys can see each one. We got Gran Turismo 3, Jump Pack Summers, Full of Demos, Tokyo Racer, 
Extreme, Tokyo Extreme Racer 3, God of War 2. It does come with the two discs. So Cabot 3, such a good game. Uh, Jaws Unleash, Unleash, sorry. We got Rampage, Total Destruction, um, Burnout Dominator, uh, Dirge of Serbia's Final Fantasy. I don't really know much about this Final Fantasy. I don't know if it's good or not. I'll look into that. And then Reservoir Dogs. So that's pretty much it for the PS2 games. Like I said, just the, this bundle right here, this bundle right here, like these games are at least like a thousand some change, which is insane. Next list of games are the PS1 stuff. Um, he didn't have a lot of these games, so sadly, you know, I love PS1 games, but it wasn't a lot. But one of these I am keeping, so let's just look through them right now. First game we got is Dracula The Last Sanctuary. I don't know if this game is rare or not. It looks like a rare title. When it comes to these games, I don't really know. Like random games like this are where it's worth. It's more so the Japanese and the anime games that I'm really good with knowing. But this game just looks it looks rare, so I'm not sure. Next PS1 game I got is Wu Tang Shell and Style. This game I'm keeping. I've actually really wanted this game for a while now, and I'm so glad that this was actually in there. I've wanted this game for a while because the fact that it has fatalities. I just remember this game being buck wild. So I definitely am keeping this game 100%. Can't wait to actually play it now. Next PS1 game is Creatures. I don't even know what the heck this game is about. I just know that thing in the, in the front looks kind of crazy. Raise me, feed me, love me. I don't know. It just looks different. I don't know if it's rare or not. It might be. I didn't look this one up, so I'm not even sure. Next thing I got, which is pretty cool, is the making of Resident Evil 4. And it's actually like a box for it, which is really cool i mean you don't see this very often it even says they're making a resident evil 4 so like i don't know what this is worth it looks really cool but we'll see right next ps1 game is uh legacy of Khan kane uh i know this these games are really good i never really got into oh it's a different box so i can't even say this is the right right game for it oh what is it okay okay this is the right box for sorry I, I never played this game before so i didn't even know but legacy of Khan for ps1 blood omen um, I never played this series before. It looks kind of cool, but this is that. It's just missing the booklet, which sucks. But if somebody wants it, they can buy the booklet, and now it's complete. Last PS1 game I got. You can't go wrong with one of the best ninja games of all time, Tenchu Stuff Assassins. This is the first game that came out for that series, and uh, I still love this series to the end. Of the, at the end of the day, I got every game that came out for this series already, so I don't need this. But you still can't go wrong if you if you never played Tenchu. To me, Wrath of Heaven is still my favorite but you still can't go wrong with this game it's still the best for its time and then no, there's no ninja game till this day that compares to what this series did now we're up to the ps3 stuff let's look into these games now first ps3 game shown is folklore this is actually a really good game hard to get game i actually already have this game so this will be for sale um if you guys are interested in a cool like ps3 game this is definitely one to pick up it's definitely a really good game Next game is Spider-Man Web of Shadows. I actually don't have this game in my collection, so I will be keeping this game also because I'm more of a PlayStation collector than the Xbox. So the Xbox version, I think I do have, and I will be selling that one instead of this one. So Spider-Man Web of Shadows, I actually never really got too far in this game, so I don't really remember much about it because I was a kid when this came out. So I will be giving it a run someday, and finally, now I have it in my collection. Next game is Silent Hill Homecoming. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one or not. I gotta keep one of the Silent Hill games that I got from this bundle. If I don't keep one, I'm kinda crazy. But, I mean, if I'm getting rid of the PS2 ones, I guess it doesn't hurt to keep this one, so. But yeah, I never played, the only Silent Hill game I ever played was the one on the PSP and then the one on the PS Vita. But, hey, Silent Hill, I'm coming for PS3. Next game I'm pulling out the box is Alien vs. Predator. I never actually played this game before, so I don't know if it's good or not. I've always seen like copies of this game here and there. I don't know if it's a fun game, and I never really played it before, but it, Rebellion did make this game, so it might be fun, but Alien vs. Predator. Just to let you guys know, most of these games are for sale, so don't think I'm keeping most of these. But I am keeping some, because I still collect, so I still have a passion for collecting, so. Next game we got is God of War, I think Ascension? Yeah, God of War Ascension for PS3. I never seen this God of War actually in person before, but it's in good condition. It's got a steelbook with it, so um, I'm pretty sure this guy might have had the collector's edition, but just didn't have everything. Unless he's keeping the statue, I'm not sure. But this is God of War Ascension for PS3. Next game we got is God of War Origins Collection. This is basically the PSP games HD remastered on the PS3. 
definitely a good pickup if you're looking for these games. I know the PSP games alone are pretty expensive. Not too much, but you're paying more for both than you would pay for both of them together. So, this God of War Origins Collection. Next game I'm showing off is The Incredible Hulk. I've never played this Incredible Hulk game. I think this is based off the second Hulk movie that came out back in 2008, I think, or something like that. But yeah, Incredible Hulk for PS3. Now, the rest of the games are okay titles. Nothing too crazy, but I'm just going to run through these pretty quickly now. So next game we got is White Knight Chronicles. I believe I got the second one somewhere, but White Knight Chronicles for PS3. So here's the second one, right? White Knight Chronicles 2 for PS3. Never played this series, so I don't know if it's good or not. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have played it before. But yeah, the second one. Can't go wrong with Soul Calibur 4. Definitely a good game. It would introduce the Star Wars characters into it, which was pretty dope. Sorry for the background sound effects, guys. I just know exactly what they do about it. They've been doing construction in front of my store for like two months now. So, but anyway, next game is Blades X for PS3. Never played this game. Looks kind of cool, but yeah. Next game is God of War. I think this is 3, right? God of War 3. I think it's 3, yeah. God of War 3 for PS3. Next game is Twisted Metal, PS3. Heavy Rain for PS3. Prototype for PS3. Warriors Legends of Troy. Uh, this looks like a Muso game. Never actually played this one before, but yeah, there you go. Uh, Assassin's Creed 1. Uh, we got Oregon's Quest, Lord of the Rings. Elder Scrolls Oblivion Game of the Year Edition. Bioshock 2. I don't know why this is behind there, but I guess it definitely does not fit in the box either. So I guess the guy that had it just put it in there like that. But Bioshock 2 for PS3. Ghostbuster the video game for PS3. Best Buy exclusive download content. Never seen that before. It's pretty cool. Fight Night Round 4. Good old GTA 4. Nico. Resistance 2 for PS3. Never played this before, so I don't know. Next game we got is Bayonetta for PS3. Uh, you never really see this one a lot for PS3, actually, so it's pretty cool to actually have it in my hands now. But Bayonetta. Fight Night Champion, another boxing game. Resident Evil 5, Steelbook Edition. Legends of WrestleMania. I have played this game a long time, but it's been a long time, though, but yeah, for PS3. Next game we got is Mortal Kombat. Obviously, the PlayStation version, you get to play as Kratos, so that's why a lot of people got this version, but yeah. Mortal Kombat. The Last of Us for PS3. Bionic Commander for Commando for PS3. Never really actually played this game. I just know he was always in Marvel vs. Capcom. <laughs> so I should actually try his game at some point. Gran Turismo 5. Assassin's Creed 2. Final Fantasy. Fallout New Vegas. Metal Gear Solid 4. And last PS3 games is Darksiders. Now we're gonna look through the Xbox 360 games. I mean, there's a lot in this pick with this box, so let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna run through the Nintendo games real quick. So we got Tengen Cartridge of Skull and Crossbones, Baseball Stars 2, this is Pac-Man, Mario Bros. I think it's the second one, right? Second one with the manual. Uh, this is a biking game, Mac Rider, and we got Burai Fighter with the manual. Since the Xbox 360 is backwards compatible, and I think the Xbox One is, I'm just gonna put um, Xbox games in 360s all in one video because there's a lot. In it. So first game we're showing is Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. This is such a good game. I wish Mortal Kombat would actually make another game like this one because a lot of people have really been asking for another co-op Mortal Kombat game. This was ahead of its time at that time, and it was very fun when I used to play with my cousins and even just to play alone. So Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Here's the inside. The rare games I'll show the inside. The box is a little messed up. I can, I can always switch the box. Next game we got is Spawn Armageddon. This is actually a really good game, man, for a spawn game. I used to play this game a lot on the GameCube, so. But this is for Xbox. Next game we got is Family Guy Back to the Multiverse. This game is actually really fun. I'm actually saying it's really fun, but I never played this one. The only one I've ever played was the PSP and the PS2 versions of the first Family Guy game. So this one I do have on PS3 already. I just gotta play it. Just haven't played it yet. Next game we got is Rumble Rose for Xbox 360. I know this is like a fighting female game or something like that. I already have this game, so, but yeah, Rumble Rose XX. I thought this was really cool to see in a Deadly Premonition. I, this game you don't see at all, really. I prefer the PS3 version, so I don't really care for the Xbox version, but the fact that this was in there, and the plus I like this cover, it's pretty sick looking. 
but I do got the game on the uh, Switch, so I think the Switch is a new one though, but yeah, Deadly Premonition. Next game we got is Manga Carter 2. This I am keeping because I believe this version of this series only came out on Xbox 360 and not on PS3, so I will be keeping this since I do have the first one. But yeah, hard to find, Manga Carter 2. Next game I got is Silent Hill Downpour. This is a Silent Hill game I never actually see as much as I see Homecoming, so... I believe this one is probably worth more than Homecoming because Homecoming, I swear, I've had it for PS3 and Xbox 360 multiple times in my store, but I've never seen this one, so this is actually pretty cool to have. But Silent Hill Downpour, just check the inside. Ooh, I don't like manual and everything. This guy had everything complete, which was crazy, man. Crazy. This is such a good game, Splatterhouse. This was the most underrated Splatterhouse game that ever released, man, and it was sick. I want this game on PS3, so I don't really care about the 360 version. So I might just end up selling this one just to get the PS3 version if I can, but yeah, Spider House for Xbox 360. Next game we got is Saw 2, Flesh and Blood. Um, I have this game on PS3, so this game will be for sale. I know this is like the one that's actually worse than the first one, but for some reason the second one is worth more than the first one, but hey, something you still don't see every day, Saw 2. Next game for Xbox Original is Mortal Kombat Deception. I love this D series. I know a lot of people didn't really care about this these 3D Mortal Kombat series, but back then when you played these games, man, you growing up, these were fun. This this is the one that had the chess mode, I think. Yeah, this game was fun. This game used to really love it. Next game we got Alice Madness Returns. This game is so freaking cool. It was such a cool game for its time. I got the PS3 version, so I'm obviously rather have that, but. This game is freaking cool as hell, man. If you guys haven't played this. Next game we got is One Chambara, Bikini Samurai Squad. I've played these games. They're kind of like Musou games, but it's just anime female, like anime girls, or Japanese girls in a way. Um, I'm not sure if I even have this one, but if you like Musou like games, you'll probably like this game. It's not bad. It's just like I said, Musou games get very repetitive. It's still a hard game to find. You don't see this game very often, but yeah, One Chambara. There's a lot of games that I did not know Atlas made, but we got Divinity 2, the Dragon Knight Saga. I don't know, I never played this game before, so I don't know if it's good or not, and Atlas is on it, so it might be a good game. I just didn't know this even existed too. I got this bundle. This is my first time seeing this. I didn't know Hitman got an HD trilogy for the Xbox. It's all the PS2 games and in, in, in an HD trilogy. I didn't know this even existed until I saw this, and it's pretty cool. I don't know if this is rare, but I've never seen this. It's the first time I'm seeing this. Next game is another Atlas game, The Cursed Crusade. I've never played this game before. I've seen this before though, but usually Atlas games are really good. So, but yeah, The Cursed Crusade. Next game is Dungeon Siege 3. Never played this game. Square Enix might be good. I don't know, but yeah, 360. Next game we got is Transformers War for Cybertron. I've never seen this Transformer game. I've always seen the movie ones. This, I think this is based off the movie too. I don't know, but hey, guys like Transformers, look at that. Transformers War of Cybertron. Next game is Alan Wake. I know they remastered this game multiple times, so it's not really special to me at this point. But yeah, Alan Wake for Xbox 360. One of my favorites on the 360, and this game was only on 360, which is a surprise because most of these Tenchu series games came out on PlayStation, but for some reason they made this only in 360. But Tenchu Z, if you never played this Tenchu game, it's still as fun. It's not better than the PS2 games, but it's it has that nostalgic feeling to it when you actually do play it. So you guys never played oh didn't even know this central exists definitely go for this one it's a really good game next game i got is fear 2 project origin I, this game a lot of people when i had it when i bought it for myself a while back people asked me if i was selling it but is this game good guys i never played this game before but fear 2 for xbox 360 it's in the case too which is pretty cool so supposedly this marvel ultimate alliance game is actually rare the gold edition which i didn't know about so usually when i see this game it's always a two disc game that comes with like Forza Motorsport or some, something like that. I don't remember and it's usually cheap, but the Gold Edition comes with extra stuff on And I guess for some reason, this is actually rare. And I've seen it sell for like almost $100 to like 80 bucks, which is kind of crazy, but more of a line is Gold Edition for 360. Can't go wrong with this game, man. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I love this game to this day. This is one of the games that I've played a lot. I know the Fatalities was probably everybody's least favorite thing to do even though they made it seem like it was cool because it was a customized thing to do but every fatality felt the same it wasn't like to that character that you played as but the fact that you got to create your character and all that at this time the race card thing was really fun i used to really love this mortal kombat speaking of mortal kombat 
from the co-creators of Mortal Kombat, we got Tao Fang. I know this game is not as good as Mortal Kombat, but if you like those janky, like, fighting games, <laughs> definitely pick this up. It's not bad, but it's definitely not on a Mortal Kombat level. Next game is Time Splitters Future Perfect for Xbox Original. Never played it, so I'm not sure, but yeah. Collector's Edition, I know a lot of people really like this Fallout. To me, this is my least favorite Fallout. Actually, I just don't like Fallout anymore. This game is the reason why I actually end up not even liking Fallout, so. But I mean, it is a cool piece. It is the Collector's Edition. You don't see this very often, but yeah, this, this is Collector's Edition for this game. This game we got is Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I've been getting this game a lot more recently. Like, I found this game multiple times, which is kind of crazy. I thought Castlevania games were rare, but for some reason, this one, I always end up finding a decent amount. And GameStop usually have this game sometimes too, but yeah, Castlevania. Lords of Shadow. Next game is Kingdom Under Fire, Circle of Doom. It looks like an MMO, I'm guessing, but not a PG, whatever it is, I don't know, but yeah. Only for 360 too. Next game, my guys, X-Men Destiny. Not, I don't know much about this X-Men game, but it is an X-Men game, so. <laughs> Yep, for 360. I remember this movie. I, this movie came out years ago, so I don't remember much on it, but I do remember this movie. But Clash of the Titans, the actual video game for the movie. But this game, I never played this game. I might end up actually trying it out before I sell it. Bandai did it too, which is actually pretty cool. But Clash of the Titans. All right, here's the rest of the games that's still in here. I'm going to run through these games quick because these are nothing special. A lot of games you probably see very often, but I'm going to run through these games quick. First one we got is Perfect Dark Zero, Fire Spot 360. Next game we got is the, the Evil Within, Juice 2, Flat Out Ultimate Carnage, Kingdom Reckoning, Condemned 2 Bloodshot, Darksiders 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the first vanilla version, Dark Souls 1 for Xbox 360, Soul Calibur 5 for 360, Dragon's Dogma for 360, Saints Row the 1st for 360, Def Jam Icon for 360, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic for the Xbox Original, Mortal Kombat vs. DC, Dragon Age 2, Need for Speed Pro Street, Batman Arkham City, Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare, the regular version of Red Dead Redemption, GTA 5 for Xbox 360, Dead Space 3 for 360, Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. There's other Lego games. I'm not going to show them. I just, there's like Lord of the Rings and then another Star Wars game, I believe. And then it's this one. And then the Angry Birds stuff. SRS Street Racing Syndicate, Xbox. Just Cause 2, Outlaw Golf 2, Tomb Raider for Xbox 360. We got Forza Motorsport for Xbox, Forza 2 for 360. Uh, Import Tuner for 360, Dead Space 2s for 360, Watch Dogs, and Dead Rising for 360. Tomb Raider for Xbox One, Tomb Raider Shadow of the Tomb Raider for Xbox One, A Way Out, Dishonored, Dragon Rage, Age Origins, then we got Rage, Sasuke Relation, DMC, Devil May Cry, we got RP RG4, Hitman Absolution, Mummy Returns for PS2, Burnout Revenge, Hall of Juarez, Bound in Blood, Far Cry 3, Assassin's Creed 3, LA Noir. And the last few games is BMX XXX, Batman Origins, Injustice, Celebrity Deathmatch, SpongeBob SquarePants. Gears of War in the Rare Replay Collection. And last game for Xbox 360 is Darkness 2 Limited Edition. Sorry that I started rushing through towards the end. This did take a while to make. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. For all the games that I've gotten today, there's a lot of cool games that I picked up in this. And now I get to keep some of the games because I'm not really losing out. Even if I keep some of the rare ones, I'm able to still sell the rest of the stuff. I'm making my money back and then some. So, you know, if you guys do see anything that you're interested in, I do have a uh, store account on Instagram and Facebook. It's called Iconic Finds. You can follow us on there or Google us. Um, I do ship, so if you guys are interested in any games, I do ship, so don't worry about that. Um, I do PayPal, Zelle, any, like any, anything that you guys feel safe with, I will do. I'm trustworthy, like I would not scam anybody. Um, but yeah, I've gotten, you know, Xbox games, PlayStation 1 stuff, some more of these, games all over the freaking place. You know, I got so many games all over the place, so, you know, the rare ones, all types of stuff, man. All this stuff 
you know what I'm saying, for the price that I got it for was insane. But yeah, I really do hope you guys appreciate this video. I know I haven't done anything on this account in a while. I will try to do what I can, especially for my collection. Uh, let, me, let me know what is your favorite title that I've got in this. Do you guys think this was an insane pickup? I do think it is because just five games alone almost make up a thousand dollars. Not even a thousand and some change. So this was a steal. Um, I do appreciate the guy that came in with that stuff because he just, you know, he was a cool dude. I just, he he said 250 at first. So that wasn't even like my offer price. He said 250 at first and then I gave him my price for it. But, um, you know, I... It's cool that I got this stuff, and I'm, now I got some rare tires that I've been wanting for a while. Uh, you know, if, even if I was sold, it'd probably be around that too, but I, I tend to go lower on my stuff. I'm not really, like, that stingy with the prices that I have for my stuff. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. See, uh, I was about to say my gaming channel. <laughs> but I really don't know what to call this channel. Just say Gianni. It's Gianni. Hope you guys enjoyed. This video was pretty cool that I was actually able to make this. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite uh, uh game that was in this pile monster pile hunting ground kion and a few other ps2 titles that i got like shadow hearts but those i'm probably keeping so but anyway hope you guys enjoy uh i can show you guys my store actually real quick so what i have in my store before i go is a bunch of funkos we got collectibles i got six 12 inch like six foot like standout cutouts plushies you know we, i got all the types of stuff that i sell in here i know these are like cheaper games and you got systems, consoles, all types of stuff that I sell in here, man. If you guys are interested in anything that I might have in here, there's something that you're looking for. I do ship. I don't. I don't. Uh, only have in store only. You know, I have a bunch of games on the wall. I do statues, anime statues, anime figures. If there's anything you guys are interested in, you know, just text me on Instagram. Text me on my personal. If you guys are from my channel, obviously text me on Discord. Um, I do ship and I'm not I would not scam anybody because I have love for everybody that supports me in any type of way um, But yeah, hope you guys enjoy I can't go down any lower because it's something that I can't show But yeah, we have a whole bunch of like cool items if you guys are interested in anything. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed um, I guess I'll show the front of the store real quick in the future like a picture or something like that So you guys can see what it looks like I'll post it in the video. But anyway, I'm out Peace